Hey Libra, I hope that you guys are all doing great. I send you much love and light. Thank you so much for being here with me. So this is gonna be a love reading for May. We'll take a look and see what are your messages, what's coming in for your love life, experiences that you could have. If you're new to my channel, thank you so much for clicking on the video. I do hope that you'll stay and subscribe. My name is Lynn, this is Passion of Heart and Tarot. Um, if you guys enjoy the reading, give it a like. Leave a comment, share the video. That would be awesome. All right, Libra, let's get into your love reading. Before I begin, I just want to take a moment to invite the white light to the interesting interesting energies okay so the initial m is here is that your initial libra is it important to you it could be a cross watcher in your initial here so i feel like there's someone who is really really in love with you i mean maybe even in ways that you don't see if this person has already told you that they can't get enough of you they're crazy about you they're in love with you know that they absolutely mean what they say that energy is real that energy is true um but the nine of wands has the overall energy and then when you see these kinds of things coming through are you dealing with other people or are you just not making a commitment to this person? Because when you see these three cups come in reverse, it is just that either some, either there's another person in the picture and maybe that's why you haven't, you know, chosen to settle down with someone or it's just like things that are going on in your life that prevents you from uh, investing and forming a union with someone. But I think that what you need to know is that this person loves you so much. Now, if the shoe's on the other foot, there's cross watchers here, however, you know how that energy goes, you guys. I think that there's a very strong possibility of someone else being in the picture. So I feel like you have someone that's in love with this other person but they could be dealing with someone else. Cause that, I mean, the three of cups is, is like, there's more than, there's someone coming between you and this person, or, you know, I guess technically it wouldn't be cheating if you guys aren't in a relationship, but there, I feel like there is someone else in the picture and that's why there's this feeling of, is it lopsided? Am I all alone in my feelings? Do you feel for me what I feel for you? So I wonder if, you know, since I'm reading for you, Libra, I look at this energy coming towards you and I look at you as the one in control of this. I really hope that you are. You know, I hope that you're the one that's either like kind of dating around and not wanting to make a commitment to someone right now, or maybe it's just circumstances in your life prevents you from being in a relationship. I do hope that that energy is yours, but since this is general, I wonder if you if this gives you any insight into what's going on with this person that maybe you are in love with and hasn't made that commitment to you. But that's what I can see. I want to look further into that energy. I just feel like it, it it's a love reading so it definitely leans more towards romantic competition now like I said I hope that you guys are the one that is deciding to be single maybe have fun and play the field I really hope that that's you if that is you you have people falling in love with you someone is really really in love with you Libra not in like with you seriously in love with you 
But when you see these kinds of energies come through like that, I mean, the five of wands is quintessential romantic competition. The three of cups in reverse lets me know that someone is dealing with other people and playing the field. That's really what it is. So I just think it's important. And then when you see this four of cups come through, you have someone that's absolutely crazy about you. You have someone that absolutely wants a committed relationship with you, wants you to be theirs and only theirs. This person, I, th I feel like they do anything for you, Libra. There's nothing that they would ever hold back from you. But I guess it all depends on what you want in your love life now and what you're looking for. But this, I, I will say that whoever throws this away, it'll really be a shame. Because you have someone that I'm telling you would do anything for you and be a thousand percent dedicated to you and the connection. This is, this is someone who is ready to give their all. It's just because their feelings are so deep so invested so involved i don't think I, I think that whoever is in love with you now libra is going to be in love with you for a long time it's not going to be something that they're just able to cut off it's real it's true and i feel like they've never felt this way about anyone else before so are you dating around and dealing with other people or are these just like circumstances in your life that is just saying, look, I can't invest with someone right now. I have too much going on. I'm responsible for too much. I, I have too many, you know, my wires are crossed in all these different directions. I can't give to someone right now. That could very well be the case. And if that's the case, you know, no pressure. Um, not here to scold you in any way, but I think you really need to know that you have someone that would do anything for you. This is like a ride or die. This is someone that would have your back a thousand percent. You call, they are there. You need something, they are there. So, I mean, if I, if I were you and you're watching this for love, you have love right in front of you. I would open myself up to that. I would take this. But you know, you have to do what you have to do. And I do wonder like, um, I just wonder which side of this you're on, you know? I do. Because um, if you guys have someone that you feel you are deeply in love with and is not making a commitment to you, and it leaves you in a place where you, you feel like you don't have any power in the connection, and that like the ball's in their court, and you're left like waiting, you're left wondering, I just, with that with all of this energy of romantic competition i think you need to be really careful with how long you choose to wait for someone to give back to you what you're giving to them because if you are opening up your heart giving everything to this person do you see even the cup is trying to be handed to them that is the ace of cups and then you see how there's the three cups there. That's what it represents, those three cups. So it's like someone who is really missing out on the chance to have something beautiful, a beautiful connection. And if they miss out, it's gonna, it's gonna be a shame. It's gonna be too bad for them because they're missing out on something that doesn't always come around in love. I just hope that's, I, I mean, it depends on what's going on with you, Libra, because don't think I'm putting you guys down when I say that, but this, this is like um, quantity, but it's not quality. This is quality. So what's important, like the number of people or like one special, real, true connection that could last a lifetime? For someone here watching this, it might make them um, like kind of, re it might even make them reconsider what they're doing because it's like, who cares about quantity when you have such quality? It might make them see um, just what they've, what's right in front of them that they, they've ignored or taken for granted because this is not going to be there for them. This is what would last forever, if that makes sense. So what I see going on right now is um, someone who's deeply in love and feels 
so worried that it is lopsided, one-sided. I see someone who's choosing quantity over quality, maybe even short-term uh, thrills. Or if this is not romantic competition, because for everyone it's not, for, for some of you, it could just be what's going on in your life and maybe you feel like you don't have room for someone. But if that's the case, I wonder why you'd be watching a love reading because you have love, true love right in front of you. If I were you, I'd, I'd take out, I'd reach out and take that offer. So I wonder which side of this you are on, Libra. Are you the one that feels you're really reaching out to someone, trying to get their attention and they just don't see you, acknowledge you? They're just not opening up to you the way that you're opening up to them. If you feel like things are lopsided, one-sided, I just think you, I just, I know it's easier said than done because I know how deep you are in this and I know if you're in love with this person, you, you may be in love with them through all of this and be in love with them for a long time after even you choose to walk away or not be in communication with them. It's just, it's just very unfair to me. It's, I mean, you know, it's, it all depends on what's going on. I just feel like it's really a tragedy whoever chooses to miss out on taking this offer because they want quantity over quality. That's just what I can see. So some of you just need to know how deeply someone is in love with you. And others of you just need to know that this person is just dealing with other people. Um, other things are interfering in their love life even. And it just looks like someone who's having a, a really hard time committing or just is making that choice to not be in a monogamous relationship and since i'm reading for you libra i look at you as the one who's making the choice and i really hope that it is but you know i will not lie to you guys about what the energy is here and if you are letting if you are like exploring all these other different connections libra I feel like you're missing out on one that could be everything that you're really looking for. It's right there in front of you. Virgo's energy is also coming through. I wonder if any of you are thinking of Virgo as you watch this, or if it is cross watchers here, or maybe moon or rising energies because it's all coming through. I feel like someone here needs to know that you have the potential, like the, I feel like the, someone feels you are the love of their life and it's right there in front of you now. I feel like this person could even be a little bit older than you. I feel like they're an old soul. I feel like they're very wise. I feel like they're very, uh, even reserved. It's someone who takes life seriously, loves seriously. It's someone who's very deep and um they reflect on things i feel like it's someone who enjoys like research education all of that here and it's a person who is genuine and has a heart of gold but i just i just feel like it'll be a shame to choose like these this is shallow to me i feel like it'll be such a shame to choose that over a love that could be amazing but, you know, like I said, I'm not here to judge to, to each its own. You guys will do what you feel is best for you. But it really is like someone is just so focused on quantity when they really have quality right in front of them. And if you feel like this is your reading, Libra, and you feel like um, you're the one who is this energy and, and you're trying to get this person's attention and like they just are putting other people or other things ahead of you. I just think you really need to be careful with how much of your power you're giving away because you have so much that you're bringing to the table. And if this person is is um, foolish enough to not see it, they don't deserve your heart. They don't deserve your time anyway. That's what I can see going on. So I feel like it's a very revealing reading and maybe even um, hopefully 
you're aware of the fact that they're dating around for whoever is whoever is dating around they're dating around do you know what I mean? Because I wonder if this is a surprise to any of you. I wonder if um you know that there are other people in the picture. There are other people in the picture. So this could even um kind of be blowing up their spot even. That's what I can see. And I will say this, for whoever has told this person, look, I have a lot going on. I can't invest in, in anything right now. I can't make a commitment right now. There's a lot going on, a lot of my a lot of my plate, a lot of moving parts. If this person has already told you that, don't keep making excuses and, and hoping that, you know, it's gonna switch and they're all of a sudden not gonna have all of these things going on. Because I do feel for someone here, maybe they've been honest about like, I can't invest in a commitment right now. And if someone has already told the other one that, I just think it's really important to believe it. I know that that's not the easiest thing to hear, but there's just so much noise and so much going on. So it's one of two things. Either it's true what they're saying and that they have too much going on in their life for a committed relationship. And for others of you, it's just because they're dating around and playing the field. And that's what they're, that's what they want to keep doing. That's what they're doing. But that is not a reflection of you and what you bring to the table and your beautiful heart. Like I said, whoever chooses uh, to play around like that and you miss out on someone who could like be such a solid partner who is so genuine and true and loving and sincere and wise, it's, it's their loss. It really is their loss. Okay, Libra, that is what I can see. That's what's going on. That's what I have for you. A lot more than I expected to see. But those are your messages from Spirit. I do hope that you guys like the reading. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. That would be great. Share the video. Leave a comment. I love you, Libra. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next reading.